hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials and today in this video i will show you how to upload your local server website to online server suppose you have created a website on your computer and you want to upload it on internet so that everyone can see your website from any place through internet let me show you one website that i have created on my local computer this is the website that i have created using html and css let me open with google chrome and you can see it is a cv template its video is already on my channel if you want to learn it so this is one page website created using html and css and it is right now on local server on local computer i want to upload it online so that everyone can see this website through internet to get your website online you should have two things which is domain name and web hosting domain name is your website name for example avinashkia.com facebook.com google.com these are the domain name and web hosting is the online space where all the files of your website will be stored your database will be stored your images will be stored online so you should have a domain name and web hosting to get your domain name and web hosting at affordable price Click on the link given in the description of this video and this link will directly take you to this page. On this page you can see we have three plans. The last one is business plan so please ignore this one. In the first plan it says single domain name. It means you can add only one domain name to create one website. And in the second plan you can add multiple domain names, unlimited domain names. So you can create unlimited website in second plan so it is up to you if you want to create single website then go for the first plan and if you want to create more websites in future then you can go for the baby plan let me select the first one and i will click on this button by now here we have one search box where you can search a domain name that you want to purchase so let me search one domain name here i am searching avinashkr.com so you can see it is saying this domain name is not available because i have already purchased this domain let me search another one i will write avinashkr2 so now you can see this domain name is available and it is available for free if we will purchase the web hosting for one year let me scroll down here also you can change the plan like uh, baby plan or business plan so let me select the first one itself in this billing icon you can select for how many years or months you want this web hosting so better you go for the 12 months plan that is one year plan if you will buy this web hosting for one month or two months then you have to renew it again and again and in the renewal process you won't get good discounts so it's better to go with the one year of web hosting plan and in one year you are getting the free domain name next you can enter a username here and in this field you need to enter any pin it can be four to eight digit and next you have to enter the other personal details like email id phone number contact details and in the right side you have to enter the payment details let's scroll down and here you can see some some other options are checked so let me uncheck this one here you can see our final price is 66 dollar it can be different for you because the discount is always changing right now one coupon code is already applied here if you don't have a coupon code here you can apply easy tutorials in coupon code then scroll down select this checkbox and click on checkout now then make your payment then you will receive all the information about your web hosting on your email id so you will receive a detailed email about your web hosting that will have your cpanel link username and password so log into your cpanel with the cpanel link username and password after login to the cpanel you will get this interface and here you can see there are so many options so you don't need to get confused about this here you have to go for the file manager let me click on this file manager then scroll down and find the folder called public underscore html like this here you can see public underscore html let me open this folder here you can see so many files because my website is already live on this domain name 
so for you this folder will be empty and you have to upload all your folders and files in this directory so here you can see one upload option just click here and from this button select your file from your computer and upload it here then your website will be live on your domain to show you i will go to the another domain and i have one more subdomain and uh, you can see i have this subdomain demo.abinashkr.com i will open this folder and you can see this folder is empty let me open this subdomain in web browser so right now you can see on this domain it says index of there is nothing on this page so let's come here and we will upload all our files in this folder so let's come to the local host and here you can see we have these files and images so let's select all of it then make it a zip file so this is zip file i will write it as cv.zip now you have to upload it online so just come to the file manager click on upload select the zip file then click on this link then right click on this zip file and select extract then click on extract files then close now you can delete this zip file from here that's it now let's come to the web browser and refresh this website again now you can see the website that was created on localhost is now on the online server you can access it through this domain demo.avinashkr.com this website is a static website it is not having a database suppose you have a website with database also then you have to create a database from your cpanel go to the cpanel and scroll down here you can see php my admin here you can go and create your database so i'll create another video for this one suppose you have a website with the database also so how to upload those website on internet i will create a separate video for that if you will buy this domain name and web hosting from the link given in the description i will be helping you to get your website online if you get any type of error you can contact me i will support you you can find my contact details in the video description i will help you for everything regarding the web hosting setup thank you so much for watching this video